So now we will see what is JSON format in JavaScript. So guys, basically JSON is a format for storing and transporting data in JavaScript. And you are going to use a lot of JSON data when you are going to communicate with the web servers or call any of the APIs which are going to respond to you in the JSON format in this case. So guys, during that time, you have to read the data in this particular format and display it on the user interface. So JSON is often used when data is sent from a server to the web page and you are going to use it a lot based on the project requirements. Now guys what exactly is JSON? So simply JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. So this is the full form of JSON that is JavaScript Object Notation. JSON is a lightweight data interchange format which helps us in order to communicate with the web servers as well apart from this json is a language independent so guys even though json was initiated with the help of the javascript language over here but it can be used with any other programming language as well apart from this json is self-describing and it is easy to understand so as you can see this is one of the examples of the json object over here so simply what is the JSON data? So over here, as you can see, we have the first name followed by colon, and then we have the value of that particular first name property. So simply this particular highlighted text is nothing but the JSON data, which is having the name and the value. So guys, this is JSON data having name and the value over here. And when we have series of such name and values over here, it is nothing but the JSON object. So as you can see, we have the JSON object as well, which is in between the open and close curly braces inside which we have the json data that is nothing but the name and the value pairs over here and then guys if we are having the multiple json objects as you can see on these multiple lines which can be enclosed within the square brackets then we call it as json arrays over here so guys this particular format can be communicated in any way it can be a simple json data that is the name value pair or it can be a json object in between the open and close curly braces or it can be a json array as well in between the open and close square brackets over here so guys let us understand the example of a json object over here so simply we are going to create a new file in this case so we have the name of the file as json data.js so guys over here what we will do is simply we will have the name and the value pair over here so in this case we have the first name followed by a colon and then let us say we have the value that is john this time so guys this is simply a json data that we have just seen apart from this if we want to provide another json data we have to provide comma and then we have the name that is last name over here followed by colon and then inside the double quotes again we are going to have the string value that is do in this case which is the value for this particular last name property of the json data so guys these are nothing but the two json data over here which can be enclosed within the curly braces this time which we call it as the json object so guys basically this is the way that the json object can be communicated between the client and the server now guys let us assign this entire json object to a variable so simply we are going to provide the data variable by using the let keyword followed by the equal to operator and simply we are going to include it within the string that is the single quote over here so guys basically this is the string data type over here so let us provide the console.log statement and let us see what will be the output when we simply provide the data variable so when we run this code once again over here on the terminal using the node command and the name of the javascript file as you can see we are getting the value of this particular string variable that is first name and then we have the last name as well guys it is important to note that this particular value is a string value right now and it is not a json object so in case the value is coming from the server in this way we can use one of the methods in order to convert this particular string that is text from the json text to the javascript object so guys let us check that as well so simply we are going to provide the console.log statement over here and this time we will use the json interface as you can see an intrinsic object that provides functions to convert the javascript values to and from the json format that is javascript object notation so guys in case you want to convert the text to the json format simply you can use the json interface over here followed by dot 
and then we have something called as parse method which converts the javascript object notation string into an object so simply we have this particular string which we want to convert it into an object so we will use the parse method and this parse method takes one parameter that is string over here which is data in this case that is the variable so guys simply by using this line of code we are converting the text to the json object that is having the json format so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal as you can see the first statement we are getting the string whereas the second statement over here this is the json object how do we know that that's because the first name property is not having the double quotes over here and even the last name property is not having the double quotes only the values are having the single quotes over here which means this is the object and this is the string that is getting printed we can simply use the type of operator over here so let us check that as well so when we provide the type of operator for both this data let us see what will be the output so as you can see the first one is the string and the second one is the object over here which is having the json format so guys in this way we can easily convert the text or the string to the json format over here while it is coming from the server or any other source so guys when you are going to work on your project requirements and there will be communication between the client and the server involving the json format data you are going to use more methods in order to use those json properties and display the values of those json properties to the client user interface so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video till then stay tuned